Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be doing a makeup look that is suitable for the holidays. This is gonna be more so kind of a nice look that you can do for any holiday that's coming up. It doesn't have to be one specific one. It's a really kind of universal look and it's really, really easy to do, so it's very easy to follow along with. Before we get into actually doing the look, please make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. As I always say, it means the absolute world to me if you do. It just helps to grow the channel, grow the family, so I really appreciate it if you do do that. So make sure to subscribe. But if you want to see me do a nice, easy to do holiday makeup look, then stay tuned for the rest of the video. I've already done my eyebrows. I did them off camera because, as I always say, I feel like that's not like something that you guys want to watch me do every time. And for my eyebrows, I just used my typical Benefit Foolproof Brow Powder in the shade 5. And then I used my Benefit Brow Gel 2. And then I already primed my face and my eyes. For my face, I used the NARS Radiance Primer because I don't want this to be a matte look. And then for my eyes to prime, I used the Put a Lid on It Eyelid Primer by The Bomb. Both very, very good products. So after that, I'm going back to my eyes. I'm doing my eyes first because I've really, really been liking how my makeup turns out every time I do that instead of face first. So I'm going to start out using the Makeup by Mario Master Max palette. You guys knew how much I rave about this palette because it's so Oh, good. But I'm basically just taking a blending brush. I'm going into this shade right here. And I'm just going all over my lid and up to my brow bone just to set that primer. And now that everything is set in place, we're going to be going into this shade right here. And we're just blending that into the crease using that same brush. So with a slightly smaller blending brush, I'm just going in to... I'm gonna take this shade right here and I'm also blending that into the crease, but it's gonna be just a little bit lower. I'm not gonna go as high up as I did with that lighter shade. So I think that's as dark as I wanna go for my eyeshadow. Just because I feel like I want more of the focus to be on my eyeliner, we're gonna do a little bit more of a dramatic eyeliner look than we typically do. So for that reason, this is as dark as I'm going to go, but of course we're gonna add some glitter because it is the holidays. We want it to be sparkly. We want it to be a little bit out there. So I am gonna be taking my absolute favorite glitter for the eyes, and that is the Makeup Forever Starlit Liquid in the shade three. This stuff is so amazing, you guys. I literally recommend this to everyone. It is good to use in the summer, the winter, the fall, the spring. There is literally always an occasion that you can use this kind of a glitter and this kind of a consistency for. It's just super, super convenient and it's so easy to use. I just love it so much. So this is definitely what we're gonna be using. So basically when you unscrew the cap, it's like a little nail polish applicator and you just get on there however much you need for your lid. And then what I like to do is I'll just paint a little bit onto there and then I'll take a brush to kind of blend out the harsh lines just so it's not like a blunt line. So we are just going to start off by painting and then we're gonna blend it. After that, I'm just taking another blendy brush back into that first shade I used 
and I'm just going over my brow bone with it. So I know this looks a little crazy right now, but bear with me. Next, we're gonna do liquid eyeliner. I'm gonna do this off camera though, and I will be right back. My eyeliner is on, I'm having kind of a bad eyeliner day, so bear with me, I just could not get it to go on the way I wanted it to, but that's life, that's how it goes with makeup a lot more times than we like to admit, so it's fine. But next, we are gonna take a little pause on my eyes and we're gonna move on to my face. For foundation, I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Warm Nude. And I like this one because it is a more kind of natural finish foundation. It's not matte, but it's not like a radiant dewy finish. It's right in between, so I feel like it's perfect for this kind of holiday makeup look. So basically we're just gonna do that all over the face as usual. Perfect, I'm looking crazy. Now I'm taking my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Macadamia and I'm just concealing all of the points on my face that I want to highlight. And now that we're all concealed, I am going to powder my face using my absolute all-time favorite. I don't think there is pretty much any video where you won't see me using this if I'm using a powder. So I'm literally just taking a smaller, fluffier brush. I like to use the Anastasia highlighting brush because I just feel like it fits really perfectly on all the places I want to powder. So I'm just powdering everything I just concealed. For bronzer for today, I'm thinking I'm gonna switch it up a little bit and I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer and I have this in the shade Tan. So I'm just using the brush that I typically bronze with and that is the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill JH07. And I'm just dipping lightly because a little goes a long way with this stuff. So lightly tapping and then just applying to wherever I want bronzed slash kind of contoured. Now that I'm bronzed up, I want to take a little blush and I'm going to be taking my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Mini Palette and I'm taking this little berry colored blush. I've really, really, really been liking this one, especially during this time of the year because I feel like berry tones are so perfect for like the November December months They just fit with everything and it's a really really subtle one So I also really like that about it, but I'm just dipping that a little bit and then going over my cheekbones Now that I've applied my blush, I'm gonna take a highlighter. This one is a highlighter slash blush combo because I really like how these look together. And I just want like a more subtle highlight. I don't want it to be too crazy. I'd rather have the attention on the glitter on my eyes. So I'm using my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in Dim Infusion. And I'm just swirling that around and just highlight slash blushing up my face a little bit more. Now that I'm all done with my face, I think I'm looking pretty good. I'm going back to my eyes. So I'm gonna do eyeliner next and not liquid liner, I'm gonna be tight lining. So I'm gonna be taking my Makeup by Mario eyeliner, my favorite one, it's so good. And I'm just tight lining the top and the bottom of my water lines. So both the top and the bottom. Now that our eyes are tight lined, I'm going in kind of a strange order, but I'm going back to my eyeshadow palette and I'm taking this shade up top and I'm just lining my lower lash line with that. 
And then I'm taking that darker shade that I was using and I'm doing the same thing. Now that I've done that, I'm going back to the eyeliner, but I'm using that other side that is used to smoke things out. And I'm gonna smoke out my lower lash line so that it gives that kind of blacked out, smoky effect on my bottom lash line. It's gonna look really, really pretty. So this just gave it a little bit more of that kind of smoked out, messy look, which I like. I don't want this to be like a super like clean cut, perfect look. I want it to still have kind of like some drama to it, which the lower lash line definitely adds. But now I'm going to add my mascara and my lashes off camera just because that's going to take me a hot minute to do. But for mascara, I'm just using my Benefit Roller Lash. And then for lashes, I have my Iconic Lights, my favorite ones. And then I'll come back to do my lips for you guys. I'm back. My eyes are looking pretty light on top and pretty smoky on the bottom. Super, super cute. But... For the last step of the look, we're gonna be doing my lips. And since it's a holiday, and when you think of a holiday makeup look, or at least for me, the first thing I think of is a red lip. So I'm gonna be doing red lips today. For my lip liner, I'm gonna be using MAC Cherry. So I'm just gonna line my lips really quick with this. All right, now that my lips are lined, I'm going to be using a liquid lipstick. And the one I'm using today is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is American Doll. I love this red lip. It's such a good one. And I'm pretty much just putting this all over my lips. And then of course you can't forget to set everything. So for today's setting spray, I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter and I'm just spraying all over my face. I was trying to make as least of a weird face as I could this time applying setting spray. Every time I go to edit one of my videos, I see my face as I'm applying setting spray and I'm like, why am I doing that? I'm like, so this time I tried to make it look as normal as possible. If it's still weird, it's just my face. But there we have it, voila, that is it. This is my completed holiday makeup look. Like I said, this is one of those looks that is very, very universal. So you don't need a specific occasion to do this. Like you could do it on New Year's, Christmas, any holiday that you celebrate on the holidays, this is perfect for that. It's just like a really classic, like dramatic, but not too dramatic eye with a red lip. A red lip is always a good idea. So this is just a really simple, first of all, look like you saw the eyeshadow that I did was pretty much just like two or three steps, three steps. And then I just did some liner. I smoked out the bottom a little bit and then I put on a red lip and that's pretty much all there was to it. Really, really, really easy. Looks pretty good right now. I feel like I'm liking the way I look. So that is pretty much all there was to my easy to do holiday makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to comment. Let me know what you think of how I look. If you love my look, let me know. If you hate it, don't comment. <laughs> uh, or just say hi. Like I always say, I love hearing from you guys. I love talking to you guys. It means the world to me when you comment. So make sure to do that. Give the video a big thumbs up for me for the holidays, please. Share with your friends and pretty please subscribe to my channel. I can't stress enough. It means the world to me if you do. So please subscribe, stay tuned, and I will see you in the next video.